Welcome to another Lumion Advanced tutorial. I'm Chris Welton from C. Welton Design, and we have another incredible release from Lumion. Lumion 8.3 has released, introducing Lumion Live Sync 2.0 for Revit and also for SketchUp. I highly recommend watching my Lumion 7.3 Live Sync tutorial with Revit first. That's my previous tutorial covering the last year's uh, Live Sync 1.0 edition. As we're going to compare a lot of the we're going to kind of jump on some of the things that were already explained that still remain. The basic mechanics work pretty much the same, but previous limitations have melted away as we now have a full live sync material and camera model. So, first I have open here the generic Revit model here that comes with Revit. And what we're going to do is I'm going to showcase first where the Lumion tab will be. Now this is a Revit add-in again, like before, and it should come with your download. You may have to uninstall the original one, which um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get that uninstalled or how to do that, if that's the case. And once we install the new add-in, this is what it looks like here. So it looks very much similar. We have the same play button, and this kind of tells us if it's synced or not. Right now it's set to off. We have Lumion open here. 8.3, of course, has to be 8.3 or higher, depending on when you're watching this. And we also have the static export as well. We mentioned the live sync settings in my previous tutorial. I went over these really well explaining what this does to our geometry and how it can also help sync. We also have a button here you can have checked or not, which is camera sync on start. So when we start the live sync, it'll try syncing the camera immediately. But we'll talk about the camera in a moment, but let's take a look at hitting the sync button right now. So now that we have our Lumion open, a basic requirement it might give us is that you need to have the project saved. So if you open a brand new project and you haven't saved it yet, it's gonna ask you to save. As it exported here, now we are live synced. Now this, unlike the other one, Live Sync 1.0 kind of left this as a, a unique kind of object. We couldn't add, we couldn't edit the materials in Lumion. But now this is basically identical to a regular export, which is a good thing in every way. So first off, let's, uh, let's try editing. Let's get a good camera view here. Now let's try making some changes here. So this wall here, I'm just going to delete it right now. Looks like there's some constraints on here. And give it a moment, and there it is. Control Z, brought right back in. These people didn't come in. So let's try adjusting. Let's see, pull this wall up. It's gonna give me errors here, but you get the idea. Revit doesn't like being stretched around like this. So we're seeing the edits in live. So this is pretty old. This is exactly what it was doing before. It didn't get any worse. It's, it's only gotten better in that case. It's pretty much identical to what it was. Let's take a look at syncing the cameras like I talked about. The unfortunate thing is Revit likes to work in this orthographic parallel projection camera, which Lumion does not yet support. What we have to do to sync the cameras, it's not even an option right here, it's grayed out, is we have to go into a perspective view. So we have 3D views in this project, and if you don't have any at a camera here, at, um, at some view, maybe in the site view or floor plan view, that'll give us a perspective. Not used super much in Revit because there's really not a lot you can actually edit in perspective view. But now that we're in perspective, we go back to the Lumion tab here. We can start camera synchronization. All right, so notice how it's changed over here in Revit, or in, in Lumion. Let's go ahead. It's been a bit since I've really gotten used to this. Let's turn off shadows in Revit, make sure this runs nice and, nice and smooth. Zoom in. Okay, so zoom. Zoom out, that's a little much. Look. 
pan. Everything's everything's pretty quickly in sync. See the rewind works. There we go. So this just gives us a good opportunity. For some reason Luke looks not working with me. I must have some other setting going on. So this gives us an opportunity to be able to, you know, move around, get an idea of our project in here. And Lumion is following suit instantly with it. So that's how linking camera works. And he said, this is something that I think SketchUp will benefit a lot more from because a lot of people like to do editing and obviously in the orthographic views, that's what Revit likes. But this is an option. I wanted to showcase that. So let's jump back into the regular 3D view here and let's look at materials. So before the issue with the live sync was you couldn't grab materials. You got, you were stuck with whatever you could push through Revit, which was, was moderately, there's some things you could do, but it was very limited. Now we have full fledged Lumion materials. So notice that the glass automatically turned to glass. And the same thing would happen for water. So we don't have to, you don't have to worry about that, but we can still go through and edit this glass however we want. We could, so this, this uh, wall material, let's take a look at what it's assigned. So it has this concrete, concrete sand cement screen, it says here. So that's what, it, that's exactly what we're reading right here. And we could go ahead and replace this with say, brick or some other Lumia material here. One of the higher, nicer polygon materials. And just so we could replace our maps in here, completely overwrite uh, what Revit had brought in. And it's basically like a regular model. It's just like an exported model now. I might even try doing a split face. So here we go, let's do our split face here. Grab this wall and just for whatever reason, I'm going to do this. All right, so we have the opportunity here now to paint. It works with paint just the same. And whatever this flower is, well, let's do a material that's already in the model roofing. And there we go. There's our roofing material set aside in there instantly. Now, what does take a second is if we do paint this with a material that was not used, not in the model already. This is exactly the same as assigning. So it took a moment. Um, on a heavier project where you've already assigned a lot of materials, you might notice in Lumion it, it gets slower progressively to add new materials after you've added a lot of heavy materials to a project. The same applies here. It'll, it'll take a moment when you add a material that was not yet loaded into here. Like there was nothing in this model called Poche here before until I added that. So it does take a moment. So that kind of breaks the live sync. But after that, it, it's, it's smooth sailing now. I could apply that to this wall here and it's fast. So I'm gonna undo that. Watch that fix itself here. Undo that here as well. There you go, it went through it pretty fast. Pretty awesome. So I'm gonna read off as well, let's see. When it comes to materials from Revit, we talked a lot about this in the Live Sync 1.0, so I refer you to there. But just to re reiterate, Revit material properties are mostly supported except for tint, but that's something we can do right here in, in Lumion. So that's, that's a no limitation. Glass and water will, will auto update to glass and water in Lumion. And something interesting as well is that even if you have the model, your exported Collada file, if you had that from before, you can still utilize that and jump into that model as a live sync, as long as the Collada and the Revit file are next to each other, wherever they're saved and have the same name. So that's, that's an important thing to notice as well. And if I wanna list off the material properties that do come through, 
Um, supported material properties are diffuse color. So the color that you assign in Revit, that does come through. Transparency, shininess, specular, color texture amount, colorization, bump texture amount relief, color texture, normal texture, but only if the color texture was set. So we went through over that list. I recommend you guys play with that or take a look at my other tutorial where we, we cover that more in depth. Or you could just do it all in Lumion, which is where I prefer to do it. But it is nice that they, they've integrated as much as they could from Revit's original actual material settings. All right, so I think that's good for, call it good for this little model. I'm going to jump into the same model that we used last time just to showcase some more, some more little quick changing in a more real case project. All right, guys, now I take you back to this project here. This is the same exact model, same exact Lumion scene here from LiveSync 1.0's tutorial. Now, what I want to showcase here is we're going to do some of the same kind of stretching effects that Live Synced. I already have this model Live Synced for you guys. It takes a moment to start that sync. Now that it's synced, there is not going to be lag. So let's take a look. First, um, let's get a good scene and start adjusting. So let's do what we did before. Last time we gave the example of say we wanted to uh, test the roof slope. Let's see what this would look like with a 912 roof. Didn't grab all the roofs, but this will definitely work. So we jump to 912. All right. So this is on Revit's end. Okay. So we're just waiting for the sync to happen here. Whoa. So there it went. <laughs> Even before Revit did it, this synced before Revit did. There's the idea, so we wanted to almost make it a little more Victorian than, than Tuscan like it was originally supposed to, but that, that, that synced. I can hit Control Z, now Revit syncing. And there we go, there it goes in Lumion. Pretty fast, like I said, it, it, it's not instant and a lot of that really has to do with the modeling software. Uh, Lumion does a pretty good job itself keeping up with that. Nothing unbearable. This is a heavier project with a lot of textures on it. So that's pretty good. We can do, we could try something like this where we grab all these tiles. Hit delete. Nope, instantly deleted. Small stuff like that, very fast. So hit control Z. There it goes. Right back. So you've seen right then, instant live sync. And so now to prove what's different between this and last one again, now we can edit these stone. This is in fact, when I had the file in here, remember we exported last time, so we'd have our live sync model and then we had to export to add the materials and align it to replace it. That was the old workflow. Interesting enough, because these had the same file name, when I go to sync, this was the original one with the exported Collada file. When I went to sync here, because there's the same name, it jumped into this exported model. So we had our live sync model before in 1.0, and then we got rid of it and put in our dummy still static export. Well, now it brought that export to life because this is a fully fledged Lumion model. There's no limits here. We can edit the materials. We can, add, we can add our own sort of materials on here. I don't know why I'm choosing wood, but you get the idea. And, and this is synced. Yep, there we are. I mean, huge improvement. Pretty much everything I wanted in the original that I was okay with at the moment letting go. But Lumion has gone out of their way and made this possible. And... Now we can work on real Lumion models while syncing with materials. It's, it's quite awesome. I'm very excited to play with it. Um, I'll be using this in Revit and SketchUp. Um, an important note also, I noticed that when we, while we are in, and it's going to look weird because I've squished it, guys. If I do this a little bit more. While we are in this mode here, I, I did notice that it doesn't, it syncs in build mode. It does not seem to sync in a movie mode. It may seem like a limitation, but it's kind of nice because you could be editing the images in here and kind of your effects 
And in the background, it's actually reloading it because it's already set when I go to build mode, it already resynced. Just another note that it, build mode is the only mode that it will sync. All right, well, thanks for watching guys. Look forward to working more with this new live sync. Very glad that Lumion has removed these limitations and also involves SketchUp in this live sync. Maybe more to come.